that thing's just the thing's just going. What you're witnessing here is not a diesel engine at idle. This is the Brain X, and their claim to fame is they have a new technology that allows their speaker to extend more into the sub bass than others of the same size. It also has this passive aggressive robot voice. I have no idea what Wi Fi ready to configure. Yeah. Battery 84%. Okay. Base high. This is the Brain X. And you may have been seeing a lot of people with these on the internet lately. They're talking a lot of hype about it and like, whoa, it sounds really good. I want to tell you like honestly what my, my real honest impression of it is. They sent it to me for free, but I'm not sponsored by them. I'm under no obligation to say anything good about it. I just, I, I want to get the hype out of the way and just tell you like what's actually going on with it. So essentially the Brain X is a super small portable speaker that has extended sub bass range because of a special proprietary system inside of it that allows it to have more bass than other speakers. And I will tell you right now, any speaker in the same size as this thing, this speaker does indeed mop the floor with it. Like this thing has more bass than any other speaker I've listened to in this form factor. So this whole thing they're doing is actually working. So what exactly is going on in this speaker? Well, it's, it's very strange. When you start it up, you hear this kind of like humming noise. So how does this thing actually work? Like what is this magical voodoo inside of this machine that makes it so special? When you want big bass, the, the bigger the, the subwoofer or whatever is, the more air it can move around. So essentially what's going on here is because this is limited in size, it has rad driver, repel attack driver, which essentially works to cancel out some of the air pressure inside of here that would otherwise limit it and allow it to produce extended sub bass. I will tell you, it is pretty bassy for this size and I'm, I've been impressed from what I saw. Besides that special component is it's a small uh, Wi-Fi speaker. It's a little less than eight pounds. So it's giving me a bit of a workout right now. It's IP57, so it's you can take it out by the pool, get it wet, it'll be fine. It's also got 12 hours of battery life. So you've got a nice like Wi-Fi interior home speaker that can produce better bass with a smaller footprint. But does it actually sound any better? Like does all this fancy technology really matter? Which makes the story of what happened to her so surprising. Which makes the story of what happened to her so surprising. And after seven years of living in the same house with Stephanie and Tig, and after seven years of living in the same house with Stephanie and Tig. Now I thought the podcast sounded good on everything. I will say that I felt like I heard a little bit more detail in the bass from this guy, but I don't know. Like, what does it sound like with music? As you could hear there, all the speakers sound good. What really stood out to me when I was listening to the brain here, and this is gonna sound dumb, but <laughs> you ever had it where like just something sounds expensive? And when I say expensive, I guess I kind of just mean like the sub bass range mixed in with like the mids and the trebles. I felt like I was able to hear a lot of good detail on the brain, which I really liked. Where I felt like I was maybe not getting as much out of this as I was of like the Tufton, was I wasn't getting as much brilliantness in the treble. Like I don't feel like the treble was quite where I wanted it to be. And there is an equalizer on this that you can use, but I don't think that's necessarily gonna fundamentally change how different the treble is on this versus something like the Marshall Tufton. This thing also sounded like it got significantly louder than the other speakers. Kind of my conclusion is, is this is a very expensive speaker. So I don't think it's gonna fit everyone's bill. But if you were trying to find like a really really good wireless speaker system and you weren't interested in Sonos, the Brain is a is a pretty reasonable competitor. I think while they're, they've got a really interesting product here, what one thing I would say is I do not like the buttons on this thing. Um, they're completely flat. Like you get, you can't tell which button you're pushing unless you look at it. I also don't really like the power button. 
Like when I press it, it's kind of hard to tell whether I'm turning it on or not. I'm not getting a real good feedback. And I also don't like the robotic voice. Battery, 39%. Base medium. I, I think they should get rid of the robot voice. While it is good because it tells me what it's doing, it's just kind of annoying. It's kind of obnoxious. Like maybe just the tone is, an, is all I need to hear. Brain is getting there. Um, I think they need a little more refinement for this to really be a really viable option. I think this is becoming more of a luxury brand at this price and for a luxury speaker, I think visually it needs to speak towards being a higher end speaker. The black is just kind of boring. Like the woven fabric on the front is fine. It's just not, it's not super exciting yet. This technology works. It's kind of a breakthrough in terms of like producing sound from a really small speaker, especially a Bluetooth one, but it's just not like, it's just expensive. It's real expensive and it sounds a little bit better, but not so much better that I'm like, I gotta have this versus the other guys. You'd be happy with the other ones too. However, if, if something about this speaker really does appeal to you, I have the code Danny below and you can get $100 off your brain speaker. Not only does that help you out, but it also helps me out in producing more videos for the channel and allowing me to be honest with you guys because I don't have to take sponsorships. So if you wanna support me, Please use that code or use any of the affiliate links below. It really helped me out. So if you made it to the end of the video, let me know what your thoughts are on this speaker. I definitely am glad that we have this in the audio world now. It's getting us away from some of that audio stagnation in terms of like, well, how do we improve sound? So that's a step in the right direction, but you know, this is just the first step in that. So really cool speaker, but I wanted to give you a critical look on it just so that you really know what's going on with this guy. So thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. That was a star to you.